Welcome uh, to another installment, guys. So today uh, we're going to do a real simple um, <clears throat> install. Do you remember back about three months ago? Remember I said about the temp sensor? Let's say China. 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 For the gearbox, I've been meaning to do it and I, I haven't done it. So today we're going to, I'm going to show you where that goes. It's just one of the same oil temp sensors uh, that I've got for um, the oil temp, believe it or not, for the engine. Um, and we're going to, instead of scaling that, I was initially going to scale it into the dash. Uh, I'm going to scale it into the ECU because I've found another spare input. Um, briefly, <laughs> he says briefly, uh, I've got the rear lambda uh, input going to the ECU, which we obviously don't use. That's spare input. It's a five volt uh, input, you know, so zero to five volt scale, I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then we've got a thermistor type uh, spare input, which is for the neutral position switch. So the wires are actually in the right location anyway. Uh, they're obviously down by the gearbox, which is where I'm going in with this temp sensor. So I'll show you how to do it, how to scale it, um, and yeah, the, where this goes as well. Uh, got a couple of bolts to swap around. So yeah, let's get it jacked up and I'll, uh, I'll get into it. Right. It's up in the air. Let's get underneath. Let's get under it. Got the sensor. Got um, a, some PTFE to go around the thread to the sensor. 17mm spanner and a, and a drip tray. I've uh, got the jack stand and that under for uh, good measure. So if you remember when we installed the uh, gearbox oil cooler, we went off. Uh, you can't see uh, the back line. Um, there's not much clearance under here. We've not got the ramp, <laughs> uh, but this bolt here, that's where the temp sensor is going in the end of. But the only thing is we're going to swap this bolt for the back bolt, because obviously this is the return from the oil cooler. So it'll be giving us a reading of the oil after it's been cooled, if that makes sense. So we want it from the pump before it's been cooled. So we're going to swap this bolt with the back bolt and put the uh, temp sensor in the end of it. So I've just checked and uh, we don't have clearance. <laughs> uh, I need to, I will move it to there eventually, but um, as I was just saying, I wanted to swap this bolt around with the back one. It's gonna foul uh, with the sensor uh, in the end of it. I'll just show you. With the sensor uh, in the end of it there, it's actually gonna foul on the uh, the tunnel of the car. So we need to get uh, like a 90 degree elbow uh, little 1 8th MPT elbow going in there, same as I've got on the fuel pressure regulator that I'll show you in a minute. But we'll get that eventually. But for now, I just want to have some sort of um, gearbox oil cooling measurement for uh, Donington at uh, the weekend. So we're just going to take this 10mm out and put this um, sensor in. I've just put a bit of PTFE um, on the thread you can see there. Just like two or three turns. And these are normally, well, this, these are sensors are 12mm. I'll put a link for which sensors these are. But all we're going to do is just undo this 10 mil on the end, which has got a little O-ring in it to stop it uh, leaking. And just bang uh, a little drain bucket, you know, underneath so it doesn't um, leak all over the floor. It wasn't much that came out, um, and that's the little grub screw that comes out the end. You can see the little O-ring so it doesn't leak. Um, and I believe this is 1.8 BSP T thread, and this is 1.8 MPT. So it's it's very very similar similar, but the uh, one one of the thread pitches is out very very slightly. It's not going to affect uh, anything. So. Good to go, but if you wanted to be really anal, you could uh, you could actually get a, a 1 8 BSPT uh, actual sensor, but yeah. That just screws in like so. I might be wrong, it might it may very well be uh, the right thread, um, it just feels a little tight, but they are tapered threads, so um, yeah. My favorite fluid again, lovely gearbox oil. So I don't go mad with these, just uh, so that's it hardware wise, um, <clears throat> I'll just zoom in and show you, that's the uh, sensor all fitted and in place, 
just blew it off with a bit of brake cleaner, you know, so it's not, um, I can see if it leaks, you know, when we uh, test it, run it up in a minute. Um, the other thing now is the, the other piece of hardware is the wiring. So the wiring is going to go off the rear lambda, um, sorry, neutral position, you're not going off the rear wire, uh, rear lambda. So the neutral position um, sensor wire is this black connector just here. So I'm just going to trace which wire um, back to the ECU, uh, which which wire it is that we need to cut into. So we just need to disconnect that. I know it's a bit difficult to see, but that's the connector disconnected. This is the one that goes to the neutral position switch. Um, the other one's the reverse um, reverse switch. So we don't want to be going near that. Um, so now I'm just going to put a multimeter on here and then go to the right connector on the ECU, um, which I'll show you, I'll put it up on the screen, but I'll show you which one it is, um, to know which, you know, to check for continuity to make sure I'm going into the right wire, but I think it's this green wire here. So then it'll just be a case of cutting that green wire, putting a ring terminal on the end, and connecting it to the end of the temp sensor, which is well focused, but it's here. Right, we're back up in the top of the car now. So I've taken off, this is the ECU. Let me zoom out. This is the dash. ECU. So we've got the first connector block, which I've unplugged, which is down there. Goes in the end of the ECU there. In that little plug there. So we've unplugged it. That is connector block uh, B134, I think it is. So if we look on the wiring diagram, um, it won't focus, but I'll look on the wiring diagram. I'll put it on the screen now. Um, it's pin 8, so I've just back probed pin 8 uh, on there, which is for the neutral position signal. I um, don't know what's going on with the phone. Didn't like uh, being in a confined area, obviously. <laughs> uh, anyway, got the multimeter set to resistance only, so this will beep when it's got continuity. So basically when it's got a signal coming from there to um, the other end, you know, when, the, when there's no breakages in a wire, it'll beep at me. So I've gone into the engine bay, and do you know I said a minute ago, thinking it was uh, the green uh, wire with the, can't remember what colour chaser. Anyway, coming out of pin D, uh, the pin block B134, pin 8, is a, I don't know what's going on with this phone today, we'll focus on everything. There we go. It's this wire here, so it's green with a red chaser. So I've chased it, this connects and plugs back to the uh, the loom that goes to the, uh, gearbox and the wire color that connects to this one is actually black so there's me thinking it was the other green wire that's obviously the reference 12 volt feed this black wire is the actual signal that goes back to the ECU so the black wire is the one that we want to be checking for continuity sorry about the uh, poor camera skills today but this is the uh, neutral position switch that we've unplugged remember so I'm going to test the black wire here because that's how in theory that's what we've got with you know um, narrowed it down to. So if this beeps now when I put it on that pin, we're in business. So let's go for it. I've just fed this through the car, but um, oh, it's going to be difficult to do with uh, with one hand. That's for sure. There we go. So you can see it's connected, and we've got continuity. So that tells us that this is the, the wire that we need to be, sorry about the light, this is the wire that we need to be putting a little, deepening it from this block, putting a little connector a loop on it, and then pulling it to the uh, temp sensor. Apologies for the uh, sunlight, but we've cut that wire, the black wire. So now we're just gonna put um, ring terminals straight on the end of there. Ring terminals on. And we've uh, tightened that up, just got to tighten that nut up um, and then put a bit of tape around here because I have plugged the neutral position switch back in because it's still got 12 volts going to it there, I don't know why but I mean I don't. I do know why the 12 volts are going there, I just don't know why I've plugged it back in Don't! But um, yeah we'll tape that back up because it will be sending 12 volts back down here when uh, it's out of neutral So we'll tape all this loom back up uh, nice and tidy-ish uh, because it is covered in oil, get some Tessa tape on it. Um, I'll put a picture in the screen where I've done that. 
it's not putting my video in again but yeah that's that um nipped up in a minute and tight so now we just need to go and do the software side of things in the ecu so we're done with the uh multimeter so we can fish that back out turn it off and deep in it from the back of that connector that we had it in we've determined that now that plug can plug back in i'll do that now there's a bit of a fiddle if i remember there we go so ecu now we'll get the laptop out and get the ecu plugged in get the keys on. Laptops in. So I'm just find a perch for the camera. I think it's going to have to be uh, me holding it. <laughs> um, you'll see what I'm doing anyway. I'll zoom in on any bit so you need to. Going into Cyvex when it loads. Apologies for the uh, sunlight glare. It's uh, fighting a bit of a losing battle with it today. Um, so we're going to go with di device connect. So now we need to go into the first thing. And we're going to go all the way down into IO configuration and then we're going to go into pin assignments and then we're going to go down to user defined inputs gearbox temperature U15 here not connected so we need to press enter then we need to go down to AN16 AR04 which is this one here press enter on that one so now we've got the gearbox temperature assigned to AN16 back out of there into sensors, user defined sensors, gearbox temperature, input configuration, thermistor, device program. Connected, we're online. So the linearization here, I should have already done this, but it will be set to the same as uh, engine oil temperature because I'm using the same sensor. So if we get an engine oil temperature there and then we go down to linearization, if we copy all of these cells here, so if we go shift all the way along and we click control C, back out of there, back down to the gearbox oil temperature linearization and then we go shift all the way along there. and we press control V that's uh, imported all the same data so um, we now need to go device program and I'll save it in a minute but I just want to add a gauge first so we'll right go uh, onto gauge we'll click add then we'll click uh, gearbox temperature GBT U15 there enter and then we want it uh, as a thermometer and we want it at 5 hertz let's say that's it so there we have it so the gearbox oil temperature there gauge now is telling us it's 22.6 degrees so we've got it working there so we'll just start the car up now and check for no leaks and just double check, uh, we'll check everything's, we've got set the same, do you know, the filter rate, uh, failure rate, and the default sensor reading, etc. Um, in there, which they should be the same, 4.9 for the uh, over voltage and 0.01 for the under voltage. You know, like, um, if it goes below that setting, then it'll be out of scale. So the only other thing we need to add now is, um, this is the CFG file, do you know, so this tells the ECU what, um, to log and at what frequency so uh, we want to add the gearbox oil temperature um, sensor into this logging file so we'll just check what we've got um, the engine oil temperature uh, set to uh, monitor to record so we've got it on a, on a base monitoring um, engine oil temperature at 2 Hertz so um, what we'll do is we'll go into user-defined sensors, GBT, which is this one there, GBT 
and then we'll put this also to two, two hertz. So it's going to be measuring it at two times per second, the temperature. Um, probably a little excessive actually, so we'll actually put it to one hertz. That'll be fine. So now we want to be going uh, device set config. Yeah, 